Hello, welcome to this video on probability. This will be the concept video and in subsequent videos we'll do some examples. I want you to introduce you to the idea of how we can put the two concepts together of calculus and probability. What we need is a function. A function will help us uh, tie these two together. The type of function that we use is a special type. It's called a probability density function. Um, so the variable for the function is going to be a random variable technically so when you have a stat class or a prob probability class the variables they they model what's going on with some random phenomena and so technically we're going to tag the variables as random variables um, you'll see capital letters used in a, in a um, prob or stat class uh, but for a calculus class I'm going to go with the standard kind of a lowercase uh, x um, now with this random variable there are different types um, the type that we'll be concerned about will be uh, a continuous random variable in order to be able to do calculus on it we need for the random variable to be continuous the difference between uh, a continuous random variable and the opposite or the um, another type of random variables is uh, called a discrete random variable and the main difference is is what they're used for um, when you are looking at your observations being a count um, that's a that's a discrete random variable for example um, when you can only take on integer values the popular experiment of rolling a die right the, the faces of the die are numbered one through six the outcomes have to be one two three four five or six you can't have 1.5 come out that's a discrete random variable when that happens when you can only have integer values when for a continuous very random variable you can have any value whatsoever and so um, those are the ones we'll do calculus on okay so these are the variables of our function now what about our functions our functions are technically called probability density functions and I'll shorthand use uh, PDF sorry about that for Adobe but um PDF is a nice uh, uh, shorthand for probability density function uh, they have two properties that must be true about them okay first off the function must be greater than or equal to zero for all X in the entire real line so the the function can never be negative all right the graph of the function must always be above the x-axis or on the x-axis all right that's a minor uh, property the major property though is that the total area under the graph of the function must be one over the entire real line now the majority of these functions aren't defined on the entire real line or if they are defined they will be zero for for large majority of those um, X values um, most of our functions end up as piecewise defined functions where it's zero so long as x is you know less than zero and then as x is more than or equal to zero then it becomes something that's you know non-zero the function so these are our functions they must satisfy these two properties and when you have a continuous random variable it will have a probability density function the main thing about number two there is the tie-in to probability for the fact that area under the curve will correspond to probability the likelihood of x taking on values between any two x values will be found by integrating okay um, shorthand for that is capital P and then in parentheses the x being in between uh, two values a and b they could be infinite or minus infinity involved too as well but um, you, you calculate probability by calculating an integral that's the marriage of these two ideas okay all right in the stat class you learn about the the three m's at first you know maybe even before you took a physical you know an actual uh, stat class you learned about the mean the median and the mode well we're going to calculate the mean and the median using calculus um, another measurement those are measurements of center another measurement that we calculate in a, in a stat or probability class is the standard deviations the measurement the main measurement for spread of a data set we can do that here in calculus class as well 
So on the next slide, I'll give you formulas for calculating these. First up, calculating the mean. Um, the average the average value, the expected value, all these are same words, you know, synonymous synonyms for for the mean. Okay. The Greek symbol for the mean is the is the letter mu. Okay. And it's found by integrating. Um, and it, you integrate over the entire real line, x times your function. Okay. The function measure probability, x is your outcomes. It's kind of reminiscent to what you do for a discrete. You take the outcome, you multiply by the probability, and you add overall outcomes, and then that gives you the, the average, the mean, the expected value. Okay. And so that's how you can do it with a calc uh, with an integral, with calculus. You have a PDF, and now you multiply that PDF by X, and that'll get you um, over the entire real line. That will get you your mean. A second measurement of center is the median. That's the one where you have your cutoff, your 50-50 cutoff, where half of the area is to the left and half of the area is to the right. Or in a probability sense, um, you'll have... Um, you know, 50% of the values are lower than that, and 50% of the values are larger than that. And so it's the median, and now probability corresponds to area. Okay, so you'll go from either minus infinity up to m, m being your median, and that area will be a half, or you can go from m to infinity, and that area will be a half. Okay, the one that's on the left is, you know, the, the bottom 50%, the one that's on the right is the top 50%, but you can use either one. All right, so we'll be calculating the median using that formula, one or the other. We have our choice. Um, next up, we'll be measuring spread, and the, the first measurement of spread is called the variance. The idea behind it is that it, it looks at the distance that data values are away from the mean. So you subtract the mean, in the variance formula. Um, in a physics class, the first moment is about measuring the center, and that's gonna be the mean for us. Also, the second moment in a physics class is about measuring the inertia, and that's gonna be the variance for us. Um, well, the issue though is, be, is that half the, you know, some of the values will be below and some of the values will be above, and so this, this, this distance from the mean takes on values that are both positive and negative. So um, what's better to do is to square that. And what we would do then is, is, is measure that distance from the mean squared, multiply by the probability and take an, and and take an average of that basically. And so um, there's two formulas there. There's the one on the left and one on the right. Uh, I often uh, use the one that's on the right. It's a, a simpler integral, I feel. So you have uh, the mean integral multiplying the function by X now, for the variance, you multiply the function by x squared after already calculating the mean, um, and then you subtract off the mean squared. That's the variance formula, but the units are what? Off, you know, the units don't fit. I mean, if you're measuring something in inches, then variance has inches squared. And that's, that's you know, taking the difference between a distance and an area. So to get right back into the correct unit, we should take a square root. And that's where standard deviation comes in. The square root of variance is going to be um, standard deviation. It feels weird to put a square root over an integral. So first calculate variance and then just take its square root. All right. Okay, great. Uh, right about nine minutes. Let's stop the video here. This is the, just the uh, sort of the idea, lays the groundwork, gives you some formulas for, you know, doing, you know, applying the, the probability and the calculus together and lays the groundwork for the actual, you know, functions that, that we use called probability density functions. So in next videos, we'll look at some examples of PDFs and we'll do some of these calculations, of course. All right. Well, thank you for watching. My name is Nakaya Rimmer. I'm here to help you through this journey. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Comment down below and um, I'll, be, I'll be glad to help. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.